So Lexi and CJ have been spotted out together after the breakup. CJ's nephew uploaded a photo and you can clearly see Lexi in the background there wearing CJ's chain. Now CJ already confessed that it was all fake, just a skit, and they never broke up. But now Kamari did speak out after someone posted that she and Jalea got into it. So the post stated Jalea and Kamari going off on each other after Kamari answered a question that mentioned Jalea. Now Kamari quickly shut this down and stated that's all fake. Now it seems like Jazz and Crystal are officially done this time. I know in the past they break up and get back together, but now Crystal is removing the tattoo that she has of Jazz's name. She says, can y'all send me cover up ideas? I literally can't think how to cover this ish up. Someone asked, where is it located? Crystal stated it's on her neck. Now I'm not sure why all of these couples that are in relationships, not even married, are getting each other's name tattooed on them. They've only been together for a couple months. Next thing you know, they're broken up. Now they're looking for cover up ideas. I mean, why not just not get the tattoo in the first place? But let's move on to this next topic with Neek and Mulan. Now, as I previously mentioned, they may both be appearing on Basketball Wives Orlando. Now, a few weeks ago, I reported that Dwayne's BM McKenzie may also be on Basketball Wives Basketball Wives Orlando, and I'm pretty much 90% sure that that is occurring now because see now Milan and Mackenzie are friends. She even attended their daughter's third birthday party. Now I can't be completely sure if Neek and Dwayne were at the party, but it appears that they weren't there. But again, Neek's friend Mulan did attend the party. Chanel. Birthday, Cece, I love you. Now, the reason that I stated not sure if Dwayne and Neek were there is because it appears that Dwayne is actually in Miami right now, but he did have his daughter a couple days ago where they gave her gifts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's she looking like, man, my dad told me to put these up. Oh. <laughs> So now Armand is not happy after he posted a video titled, I couldn't enjoy my day and I couldn't believe this happened today. Now he also put, my heart is broken, which had people thinking this video had something to do with Regine. So he went onto Twitter and he stated, not they mad and think something clickbait cause y'all come to my page wanting drama or messy ish. And then when you see it ain't, you say clickbait. No, stop clickbaiting your damn self and watch the video. This isn't reality TV. Take y'all weird A's to be entertained. This ain't drama. So Armand is stating if y'all want the drama, tune into their reality TV show, Toya and Regine, because there will be no more drama posted on YouTube. He also states, it's these older people and young kids. Stop bringing that energy to my page. This is YouTube. I don't know what y'all used to watching and speaking on, but take that ish somewhere else, please. Y'all want to watch ish and gossip all day? Go to the shade room. So I spoke on this previously and I stated, I believe Armand and Regine are still together, but they're not posting any of their business on social media anymore. And I completely understand. Well, now we all know that Regine did move to Los Angeles and it appears that her mother did come over to visit. She wasn't too happy about a few things in Regine's home. Watch me in here. Okay, I'm on a Wait No More 21 Day Transformation Challenge. This is day six. I haven't eaten any junk food, had any drinks other than shots, no fruity drinks, nothing with sugar. Um, I haven't had a ginger ale in seven days. And she have a house full of ginger ale and a house full of snacks. She's really trying to torture me, but this is where it shows that I'm a strong girl, okay? I got this. Day seven on a road to 21. Let's see how this goes. And she have it set up so cute. She have all her little cute little jars with all her cookies, candy, cereal like all of her cute little stuff lined up and labeled 
it looks so good. But I'll just eat my fruit and do what I need to do to get to these 21 days. And then change my eating habits after. Because in 21 days, I might not even want no snacks like that. But it just looks so good right now. Shit. Be strong to let you be strong. It's coming. Trying to do the Got to. I'm gonna hit y'all though, man. 